We're in Proverbs 11.10, and the title of today's message is, you guessed it, happy. Even God's no makes me happy because ultimately it's to support me and make me a better person. You're supposed to be happy. Get this, when, drum roll, when good people are successful. Yay! No, real talk. Proverbs 31. <laughs> You're watching Ghetto Bible Study, a dope way to read the Bible. I'm your host, Proverbs 31 Mom, and today we get to be happy. <laughs> so let's start with asking ourselves, what are some things that makes us happy? Well, I would be extremely happy when my kitchen is complete. My husband is going to look for countertops today so that we don't have to continue to use these doors as countertops and we can have actual sinks and stuff working like dishwashers and all of that good stuff. This house makes me extremely happy. Having the space where my kids can run around and play freely without um, being yelled at. <laughs> that makes me extremely happy. Just God coming through and hearing my prayer and answering my prayer and his answer being yes makes me extremely happy. But you know what else though? Sometimes God knows some point <laughs> it makes me happy because I know that he has my best interest in heart. When I lose weight, when I'm 130 something pounds, I'm extremely happy, right? But today, the Holy Spirit, he put something on my heart and he helped me understand why I don't just get to be my ideal weight. You know what I mean? Like why I have to struggle with my weight and stuff like that. One is to help others. That's true. But two, um, Holy Spirit asked me a question today. He said, if you weren't trying to stay a certain weight, would you eat healthy? My answer was no, <laughs> not at all. I would eat all of the crap and all of the garbage that I want and I wouldn't care. He was like, see, now that is why I make you or I allow this to be a struggle for you and I say no to you as far as you being your ideal weight without you working forward. I do that because it forces you to eat healthy. If you're healthy, you get to continue doing the work that I need you to do and you need to and you get to do it for a prolonged amount of time. I'm going to have you on this earth for a while and you got to be healthy enough to do it. So, if your weight issue is going to force you to make healthy food choices, Choices, then so be it because otherwise you wouldn't and it extends further than that because my healthy food ch choices impacts the people that I'm around my loved ones my kids my husband so although they eat a lot more McDonald's and even I'm preparing him some French toast and french fries this morning it's both we going with a French thing um, it's not um, as healthy as as me but uh, the baby you just saw him run past his favorite food is tomatoes he loves tomatoes. Um, I do too on an omelet. But anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is he he was he's exposed to tomatoes because I eat tomatoes. I eat vegetables. I eat healthy stuff. Even God's no makes me happy because ultimately it's to support me and make me a better person for the job he created me to do. I gotta be in shape to do what he's calling me to do, which is to be a wife, which is to be a mom and chase a toddler and everything I, else that we do through health. I mean, we ran a marathon in Jerusalem. If I wasn't healthy then, or on this journey of trying to be a certain way, I would never done that. That was actually another trick I was trying to do to see if, oh, if I run a marathon, will I lose the weight? That's another message, cause I've done some of everything. <laughs> but it's for such a time as this, and it's to help other people who on who's on their journey. If you didn't watch the previous message called Haters, go ahead and watch that, and you'll see why this this whole you know weight thing kind of keeps coming up. But back to the message. Okay, so those are some things that makes us happy. But in today's message, we're learning that we're supposed to be happy. Get this when drum roll. When good people are successful. Yay! No, real talk. Do you find yourself kind of um, 
I don't want to say hating on people when they're successful, but maybe you kind of got this little sly emoji look and you feel some kind of way like, now they don't deserve that. They don't even go to church. They don't even read that. You know what I mean? Do you find yourself like hating on people? They don't even tithe. How you going to bless them? That or you know what I mean? Or it, other situations i'm just trying to throw some stuff out there but what we're learning because when we do get a bible study and we read the word is we're supposed to apply what we're learning so god says we're supposed to celebrate and be happy especially for believers when good things are happening to them or when they're successful we are not supposed to hate on our fellow man i don't care if you're I know it's it, Baptist or Pentecostal or whatever it is. If you believe in Jesus and God has done something great for you and you have a success, you know what? That's a success for the kingdom and all of us are supposed to celebrate. You okay, baby? I run around the house all the time, but happen to fall. Now, you see that little bowl of stuff that I made him? He's not eating it at all and said he requested an apple and he's eating a broccoli pear or something. Anyway, healthy. <laughs> and that's good. That's good for my butt because I shouldn't even be offering him that type of stuff. So anyway, okay, so now you kind of smell like onion. We should be celebrating and we should be happy when believers are, you know, successful or God does something great for them in their lives. And another thing that should make us happy is when bad men die. I mean, when Hitler died. When Hitler died. I think everybody was happy about that. So that's not a bad thing. Has someone, has God blessed someone in your lives and maybe you haven't been as supportive as you should? Maybe today should be a good time for you to text them a congratulations or maybe uh, go a step further and actually, you know, call them and, and congratulate them for their, uh, successes and for what God has done for them. All right, everybody, if you learned something today, give this message a like, press the like button, thumbs up. I mean, who don't want to be happy? We all want to be happy, right? And subscribe for more videos, push the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new message so I don't have to go through Marco Polo to tell you. <laughs> And share this message with someone who just needs to be happy today. But more so, call and congratulate someone who's a believer, a good person, and God has blessed them. Go ahead and support them so that we can get one check for the kingdom. All right, everybody, y'all take care. Have a blessed and amazing day, and thanks for watching. Bye.